something doesn't feel right. Oh no, you feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. <laughs> This is my video. <laughs> that wasn't my edits. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. I'm coming back into another video, of course. And today we're playing Cooking Companion. This is the demo edition. I know that the the real video, uh, the, the real game came out uh, recently. Uh, I just want to do the demo. Okay, I'm trying to make these videos short as I possibly can. Apparently, there's like a 30 minute video. Let's see what happens. It's uh, what is it called? It's like a it's like a story time thing. It's one of those not what it seems games. Apparently, it's a horror game. I'm ready. Let's see what you let's see what they got here. All right, this game is not suitable for children. Those are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Hey, you were warned, okay? You were warned. What? I hate to say it, but you really outdid yourself with that vegetable stew. Wait, there was a vegetable stew. That, thank you. I, I think they're talking to me. Thank you. The seasoning was superb, and I and I tasted dill and something. Dill? The dill? Did you grow the herbs yourself? You'll have to share your recipe with me. I could really go for force. Is anyone else still hungry? Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for your friends. You could hold cooking classes here. You'd be extremely successful if you forage for a couple of local products. Was anyone listening earlier? I'll have to rest. I'll, I'll have to rest if no one else is hungry. Homie's hungry. He's trying to eat all the food. That's me right there. Gregor, thanks for cooking again. And sorry for the dishes. Uh, sorry, but uh, dishes aren't my thing. Hey, the rule is whoever cooks, you guys have to clean. Like, like, all right, all right whoever cooks, cooks. And whoever eats the food, y'all got to clean your own dishes. That's not fair. I'm not the maid here. Unfortunately, my mom does all that. <laughs> My mom, she'll cook and she'll clean everything. But that's not right. You're not supposed to be doing that. That's because it's my mom. It's different, okay? The four seem stuck as they clear out of the kitchen. You look at the pile of dishes and your mind starts to wonder, hmm, should I kick these people out of my house? Hello! Hello! Let's play hide and seek. That sounds so much better than doing dishes. There's five of us. Can you find all of us? The red-haired woman should know where the basement key is. And I bet one of us is hiding down there. Okay. She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Hey, yo, cabbage, relax. Probably best to avoid the knife. Yeah, for real. As leader of the chompettes, it's critical to get all five chompettes gathered in the same place. So please don't forget any of us. Yeah. Good luck. Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Maybe now is a good time to speak with Karen. Karen, we got a Karen working with us. Oh my! All right, we'll check out the living room, I guess. Oh, there were all oh, her baby girl. Looks like she's just slicing away at a block of wood. Cabbage was correct. The knife does look sharp. Why does she got that to her neck? What is she trying to do? She's, oh my God! Can I help you? Oh, sorry, Karen. Um, what are you whittling with that knife? Have you seen the basement key anywhere? Let's go straight to it. Have you seen the basement key anywhere? Didn't didn't you leave it in the kitchen? Uh, dot dot dot. I don't know. And that's why I'm asking you. You can't remember. I don't remember. I haven't seen the key. So uh, good luck with that. Hmm. Maybe when the one of the chompettes has it in the kitchen. You decide to check out the kitchen. Walk over to the kitchen. Thankfully. There's not too many places for cabbage to hide. Tutorial. You never know what you'll ever find in the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by checking an area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area are you willing to search for first? Uh, cauldron. Behind the wood pile, the cupboards. Behind the wood pile? There's nothing but cobwebs. Dot, dot, dot. Thankfully, no spiders. Hey, man. I don't want to deal with no spiders. They better not have no spiders behind the wood pile. Actually, there's... More behind the wood pile. Quite a few mouse droppings. Ricky? They put Ricky in here? There's a good collection of cobwebs and mouse droppings behind the wood pile. I don't want to continue going behind the wood pile because there is spiders. And I don't want to continue with that. So we'll check the cauldron. You hear some rustling around. <laughs> we found her! That's not sound effects, by the way. That's not me. It's the game. <laughs> 
Ah, you found me! Well done! You found her. Great. You got an achievement. As leader of the Chompettes, you don't need to convince me. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Cabbage has joined the party. Four Chompettes to go. Um, What's next, Cabbage? Uh, I don't want to play hide and seek no more. Do you know where the basement key is? Um, I, I don't know. What's next, Cabbage? Focus on the mission ahead. <laughs> Finding the Chompettes. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Pause. Hold on. Maybe that's a good place to search for first. Probably. <laughs> Great. I'll meet you there. As he rolls away down the hallway. Oh, she. Sorry. My bad. Will she lead you to another chompette? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Question mark. Uh, radio. What's going on with the radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Really? 43? What? Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Alright, they better not jump scare me. I'm scared already. Seems to be broken. Maybe you'll pick a signal up when you look around the cabin? Better hold on to this radio. You got a strange radio. Time to see what cabbage found in the bedroom. Let's check the bedroom. Hey, it's my boy, Anatoly. Is that my homie Nibbles the Squirrel? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, I thought you'd be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. I found the book under one of the beds, by the way. Um, do you know what the cover says? You, well, you can't read? Um, I know it's only two words long, but, uh, I can't make out the title. Is it because you, I was about to say, you can't, can't read? Eh, <sighs> um, uh, don't, don't tell the others, please, but, um, no, I, I, I don't. I only pretend to know what my herbologist books say. Um, you tell them the name of the book. It's kind of sad, but, I mean, I'd be messing up too, but if you really can't read, you're illiterate. That's kind of bad. That's why I stay in school, guys. Um, cabin cooking. Oh, terrible title. Uh, alterations. It's so childish. It says the one that can't read. Speaking of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe I can forage a special ingredient for you or something. Uh, you tell him. We're going to make uh, spaghetti meatballs. Interesting. I think we'll pair nicely with a wild yarrow. What the freak is a yarrow? What? Hold on. Let me look this up. A a yarrow. A yarrow is a traditionally a medicinal plant called the devil's nettle. What does it do? Hold on. Treats inflammation, um, heals wounds, and neurological diseases. Apparently it helps with anxiety. Hey man, put that right in there with the spaghetti and meatballs. I'll put a little right there. Good to go. We'll take it. Don't know what it is, but we'll take it. Uh, I'll go look around for the cat. I'll go look around for some around the cabin. I don't know. This guy doesn't know what he knows. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. And he's going to just go start picking stuff around. He just sight, sees stuff in a book. We're going to die. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye, An Anna Anatoly. Bye, Nibbles. What's in the... Is that... Did you see that? Was there like a bone underneath the cardboard? Or like the... the, the not the cardboard. The freaking wood thing. You saw that? You unlock the Anatoly profile in the extra section. Well, time to find onion. There's an onion? Onions are smaller than cabbages, so this might be difficult. Where do you want to check first? There's a bone down there, you see? There's a camera. There's ink. There's a bird cage. Bed. Hmm. Under the bed, under the floorboard, inside the nightstand, under the inside the bird cage. I wanted to check inside the bird cage. But let's check underneath the floorboard because there's a bone. You notice a bone sticking out. Is it a human bone? Nope. It's a chicken bone. Gross. No. Check it again. The floorboard looks a little loose. You could probably pull it up to see what's underneath it. You're far too weak to pull up that floorboard. We're going to do it again. This floorboard should be re really be re repaired. You wonder if you could repair it yourself. I'm going to do it one more time. You definitely can't repair this yourself. And nobody's around for miles. What do you mean? Do you have a big guy brolic in there? He, he was eating a bunch of food. No, call him in. We're going to do it one more time. You look a little closer at the hole. <gasps> you found a small sack. Somebody's foot out there is probably cold. Ah! 
A sock? Under a floorboard? We're not gonna ask questions. I do wanna see what's inside that bird cage though. There's nothing in the bird cage. It's completely empty. Check it again. The bottom of the bird cage is completely spotless. Did a bird even go in there? Why would you have a bird cage if there's no bird in it? Like no feathers. I've had birds before. They have feathers, like seeds, poo poo, everything. No bird droppings or anything. Yeah, like you would you would see a bunch of stuff. Check it one more time. You can tell from the outside of the cage that it's completely empty. Right? Hold on. Unless there's a ghost in there. Check it one more time. You observe that the cage is quite large. Maybe this isn't meant for birds. What what would it be used for? You look a little closer. Huh! You can mark out an E! But the letter to the left of it is scratched out. Such dedication. What would be next E? E. What letter? M E? At me? S E? I don't know. There could have been any any there's so many letters that could be two letter words that are E. And me comes to mind. Uh do we really want to check under the beds? Let's check under the beds. You look under both the beds. Just some dust and some hair. Sounds like my room. You conclude someone must have slept in these beds at some point or another. Uh, check under the beds again. You decide to inspect one of the hairs under the bed. Oh, it's long and red. It must have been Karen's. Yeah, because baby girl with the red hair. It must have been hers. Let's check more. What do we got? You inspect another piece of hair. Is it blonde? It appears to be black. Oh, Anatoly? Oh, okay. So who, what else? What else we got under the bed? You find a small box in the corner. Uh-oh. That must have been your imagination. There's nothing but hair and dust on here. Wait! Wait, what? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Better luck next time. No, 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 no. Under again. You find a small box in the corner. That must have been your imagination. There's nothing but hair and dust on here. Better luck next time. No. You find a small box in the corner. That must... Okay, one more time. We'll do it one more time. All right, we'll, we'll give it. We'll give it. All right, let's check inside the nightstand. There's Onion! Here he is! Onion, don't be a crybaby. It's just me, Onion. No matter what I look like, I assure you, I am sweet. Honest. Are onions really sweet? I mean, I guess you got sweet onion. Did uh, you sprint here? You're drenched in sweat. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of sweaty. I'm, I'm, I, I'm a little nervous on what's going on here. I can smell you coming a mile away. That's messed up, all right? Just because I'm thick. Gross. I don't have a nose. Then why are you talking mad smack? You'll be the first person I eat. Cabbage will be the last one. You'll be the first person I eat, onion. But if I did, probably would lose my lunch. I'm going to smack you, onion, I swear. When's the last time you had a bath, stinky? Don't answer that. It was actually about like an hour ago. Just join me in the boiling water sometime. Oh, yeah, trust and believe I'm boil you in some water. Really, loosen that meat off them old bones. And he calling me old? Come on, Onion. Got a fun factoid for you. You know what's a good good for a sore throat? Pause. Is it Onion? Onion. Me. Onion. I thought it was garlic. Garlic helps your sore throat. And salt water. The gargling the, the gargling the salt water. Just chop me up and mix me up with... Uh, with, uh, well, I'm not giving you the answer here. I'm buzzing with excitement. I'm thinking it's garlic. Garlic would be good. Um, garlic and water, rosemary, blood, mustard, honey. I know rosemary is good for your head, but garlic and rosemary, blood. I kind of want to do blood, but I'm kind of scared. Mustard, honey. I've done honey before, honey and garlic. My mom, let's do honey. That's correct. Got him. I told you. My mom used to do this. She'd put garlic with the onion and the honey, and it's disgusting. But it helps your throat. That sulfuric compound helps your throat, and the honey tastes great. And honey also helps the bacteria. You'd be gargling with the honey, and that would be helping your throat. Of course I'll come with you. Onion has joined your party. Hello. Hi. Glad for you to join us, Onion. No problem. There's nothing else to do today. He's telling the truth. There really isn't. I heard bread making noise in the living room. 
Cabbage. You know how loud he can get. Pause. It's cabbage. Bread. Yeah, the one and only Thickums bread. Chop pets, roll oh. out. Here they go. Your party is quickly expanding. Three chomp pets left. Is that Russian? That's Russian. Does anyone who, who subscribed to me, Russian, can you translate for that in the description? Looks like the strange radio picked up the signal. I'm not sure what the purpose of the broadcast is. We were hoping the strange radio would play an upbeat music or something. Yeah, for real. There's no. Oh well, there's no use focusing on this right now. It's kind of creepy. It's all dusty and musty in here. I was looking everywhere for you. I already licked some of the bowls clean. You, sh you, uh, so no need to wash. So, so no need to wash them. Wouldn't want to waste anything, right? Relax, bro. I'm a growing guy. Growing only in one direction. Pause. Thanks for cooking dinner for us today. Gave all of us time to work on our hobbies. Karen with her whittling. Anatoly with his herbalism. Maria with her studies. That's the other girl, right? And uh, me? Uh, I'm just here for the food. <laughs> Should uh, double the recipe next time because I'm pretty hungry. And I know you're kind of thick and I'm kind of thick and there's not enough food for us. So make sure you make more food. That's basically what he's telling me. So none of us go hungry later. <laughs> Terrible idea. We're trying to spread out our food, fam. Anyway, he's going to check up on those uh, beds and uh, sleep on the couch that has been uh, my back killing. Killing my back. Later, buddy. Have you seen a bread? Unlocked Gregor's profile. Interesting. The couch looks like a good bed for you, too. Hmm, bread must be around here somewhere. Honestly, if it came up to me, I would definitely sleep with him. Pause, because I would be petrified. I would not want to sleep with the red-haired girl or Anatoly. And I don't know where the heck Maria's at. Bread must be around here somewhere. Where do you want to check first? There's a mouse hole, the bookshelf, the couch. Let's look at that couch that he was talking about. Under the couch. Lots of cobwebs underneath it. Thankfully, no spiders. All right, already the spiders. I'm not going under there. Check the bookshelf. Various books on a wide variety of topics. No time to read through them now. There might be a secret there. Because there's always secrets in the bookshelf. So let's check the bookshelf. You take a closer look at the subjects. Cooking, herbologism, skinning. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Books that are good for surviving in the wilderness. Are we, like, stuck here? Or are we, like, living here? Like, I don't get it. Continue to check the bookshelf. You take another look at the subjects. Carpentry, metalworking, tailoring. Books that are good for crafting in the wilderness. Interesting. Let me get some water. You take one last look at the subjects. Necro necropacy? Anatomization? Burial techniques? Hold on. What is necropolis? Necropolis is another term for autopsy. Autopsy is where you dissect bodies. What? Automization? Anatomization is to cut pieces in order to display or examine the structures and use of parts. In other words, dissection. Autopsy, dissection, burial techniques? That's creepy. And the books are books that are useful in their own way. One more time. Let's check. You take one last look at the subjects. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's nothing here. Let's check inside the mouse. Uh-oh. You found me. Everyone's secret favorite chomper. Bread. Don't you loaf me. <laughs> I love me some bread. My cousin Cornbread told me that one. He had hundreds. No. Thousands of terrible puns. He's my role model. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? You get it? Because you need bread. You tell bread about gathering the chompets together. Hey, buddy, we're trying to gather the chompets. Come join us. That's a pretty crummy idea. Remember what happened last time? No, tell me what happened. We're potato. I mean, you're going against the whole grain here. <laughs> You really want to help us out? Huh? Dot, dot, dot. Well, you know what? I'll come with you if you're passing my culinary quiz. You've already been so good at cooking stuff, so this should probably be a piece of cake. They're probably going to say a piece of bread. No. No eyeballing measures today. You got to be exact. All right? No dashes, shakes, or just a touchy here. This is a math quiz. Easy. 
I'm good at math. Hit me with your best shot. So here we go. One fourth of a teaspoon is 125 milliliters. I did not know that. So one fourth of a teaspoon is 1.25 milliliters. I didn't know that. So my my special bread recipe calls for two teaspoons. So how many milliliters, right? So he already said four. So 1.25. So that's actually five. So five milliliters. Ten. Ten. Ten milliliters. How many milliliters would that be? Ten. You know. You know what? That's correct. Cabbage onion, get in here. Big brain. Yes, Brad. They can do math. I'm joining the group. Brad has joined the party. That's <laughs> wonderful. Glad to have you on board, Brad. Anytime. Let's go find Raspberry. You know what? I think I heard her over there by the basement door. Perfect. Chuppets, roll out. <laughs> Mosey on now! I thought they said my name and I was gonna flip out. <laughs> you have three chompets in the party. So they talked about potato and raspberry. So we're waiting for potato and raspberry. Two more to go. Potato, potato. Rush him again. That sounds similar to the broadcast before. Pretty annoying. Do these numbers mean anything? Are they talking about German? I know Ein Frei Drei Vier Fum, like that's all German, but this is something, I don't know, I don't know anything like that. Anyway, oh well, maybe someone knows the repair, repair of this thing. You head to the basement door. That's a creepy door. Ha! Huh, don't see, I didn't see you creeping up on me. Why is there a deadbolt on this door? There's some high security for a cellar full of beets and potatoes. Or maybe it's hiding something else, like a deep, dark secret. I already don't like you, Maria. You're scaring me. You shrug. <laughs> I don't care what Karen says. You're funny looking. See me around. See you around. You unlocked Maria's profile. That's it? We had like whole conversations with everyone else. And she's being all creepy. She's here. Oh, sorry. She's here. My bad. The birds outside go silent. You can hear a pin drop. Come on. You can almost hear her breathing. You feel the sudden urge to scream. I'm about to scream. You can't sneak up on me. Don't ever try that again. I was about to flip. I was about to. I was getting really scared. So each person represents somebody then. So cabbage is me. Or is Cabbage the redhead girl? Then Bread is the big guy. Anatoly is the onion. Raspberry is Maria. I don't like Maria. And I don't like Raspberry. I didn't even get to read that. Oh my god. Oh wow, it's very nice to see you, Cabbage. <laughs> I wouldn't leave you behind, Raspberry. Honest. We need your help finding Potato. Our combined chomping detective skill says he's in the basement. So am I Potato? I think I am potato, and Karen's cabbage, Maria's raspberry, um, the other guy is bread, and then Anatoly is the, the onion. Oh yeah? Do you have the basement key? Um, no I don't. Oh wow, bummer, it's unlocked already, so that's good, at new good news at least. Potato, I don't get why you want to find him, but I'll come with you anyway. Raspberry has joined the party. One more to go. Let's go. All right, I'm about to finish this gameplay. I don't want to do this. Uh, it started to rain again outside. It was beautiful outside. What do you mean it's starting to rain? You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. I do feel a knot in the pit of my stomach. It's just a staircase. Yes, it's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Just go down the stairs, find potato. You can see the bottom of the staircase. You still can't see the bottom of the staircase. I don't know what that person said, but you can't see the bottom of the staircase. I'm getting scared. The sound of the thunderstorm is still going. You think that you can see something. It's probably potato. Just keep going downstairs. Keep going downstairs. Keep, keep, going, keep going downstairs. Keep going downstairs. Potato. 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 Dot, dot, dot. Thankfully, it was nothing. 
What do you mean? I, you set it down. I, I saw something. You continue downstairs. I'm I'm gonna I'm getting scared. The walls have changed. It looks like a mixture of dirt and soot. I'm getting scared. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second to think. I'm getting scared. Give me a second. Da 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 da. Something is approaching. It better be potato. I'm gonna flip out. Go back upstairs. Keep going. Now nah, let's be brave. We're gonna go downstairs. You grit your teeth and you keep going. It's potato. I hope it's potato, or I'm gonna flip out. You know, it's the rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading too. Why is this so deep? The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. I'm getting scared. <laughs> You think you can hear something faintly? It better be potato. Is that pe is that someone walking? Is that someone knocking on the door? Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. What do you mean? What do you mean? Who's at the top of the staircase? You ignore the distraction, but you've lost track of time down here. Uh oh. Your radio turns on. Please don't. Please don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. This big girl is dead and she's trying to contact me. This is not the person to be contacting. Why did we go down here? I would never go down here by myself. I would always go with someone else. Let's keep going. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Look behind you. Oh no, you feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. <laughs> She's right in front of you. Do we run? I would run. That's my thing. Keep searching the basement. <sighs> I already got scared. Let's keep searching the basement. The potato must be lurking down here. You move your hands along the wall blindly. We've already... We, we committed! Let's just keep going! The smell down here is revolting. Your nostrils flare with each inhale. <sighs> Like they're describing what's going through me right now. Your eyes can't make out two directions to explore. You smell something coming from the room to the left. And there's something to the right. <sighs> Let's go to the one that smells to the left. The stench is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. <sighs> I'm getting lightheaded. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. You can't see the eyes, but you can feel them. Oh my God, there's people watching us. You're being watched. Uh, feel uh, uh, along the wall for light. Hey, if we touch someone's dull, F it. Or a poor, F it. You can laugh about it. Who cares? Get into the room center. No, touch the, touch the walls for the lights. I feel along the room. I don't want, I don't even want to look for lights. Um, Your hand slides across something wet and sticky. It better not be the dull. It better not be the dull. It's going to be a dead body. You feel something around. You feel something round and hard. Pause. It's a... Oh, my God. I'll keep going. Hey! Cabbage, I swear to God, it better not be your doll. Well, she's a girl, so it's the poor. Don't grab my head like that. Pause! Why are you covered in blood? Because I'm scared, homie! Gross! You feel the gentle push of the chompette. Let's get out of here. Wait, we're looking for potato! Where's potato? Ah. We lost potato. Oh my God. Wow, you found four of us. That's pretty darn close to five. Wait, where's Potato? We can't move on without Potato, though. So after everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original soup, we still need him here. Completely disagree, but okay. Raspberry's right. Let's potatoes, let Potato sit in the basement. He got company down there. Yeah, clearly. Clearly we saw him. Well, that's enough. <laughs> Your ranking's an A. Wait, I need an S. <laughs> a as in awe-inspiring. Well done. To celebrate, we've made you a bed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. I don't want to go to sleep. There's somebody downstairs. I don't want to sleep here. Yeah, homies, we got to go. We got to leave, okay? There's something wet and round down there. We got to go. And the potatoes are talking to me. The food is getting crazy out here. So are you going to cook his dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry, Karen. Okay, sorry. Dinner? Yeah, we're not really too picky. <laughs> me and Nibbles, we are not. We don't care. We'll eat anything. Nuts. Pause. That's not true, but you know. I'll literally eat anything at this point. Pause. 
cheeks? That's not true either. So, uh, what are you cooking tonight? Maria, don't look at me. You, you, you scared me. Honestly, the thing that popped up looked like her. You tell her. Um, it's gonna be your specialty. Cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. Cabbage. <laughs> you take some meat out of the pantry. Okay. Say so we take meat. Alright, we take meat. And, uh, dot, dot, dot. This meat is severely rancid. Okay. You can smell it before the drawer even opens. Why do we have rotting meat? That should have been something we should have taken care of a long time ago. Eh. Everyone's noses are sniffling. You gag as you put it down. I better not serve these people some of that raw meat or we're going to have a problem. What is it? It smells disgusting. Um, you sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells, uh, familiar. What is this? Is the smell of your pull? Huh? Huh? Why? Why would you serve that to us? She knows what this is. It better not be like a dead animal like Nibbles family or something. Gregor goes dot dot dot. Um, maybe it's aged to perfection, ha huh, ha. Huh. Hey man, I'm with Gregor. You know, I'm uh, not into uh, meat. You grab your knife out. You sear the meat on both sides, trying to get the edges, but fumbling a little. Hey listen, it smells bad. I, I know we're not in a, uh, like, this is loud, hold on. Next up, you start chopping the cabbage. Okay, listen. I know it sounds bad, but if we're in a situation where we have to eat this food, this, fo this food, meat gotta be the first one to go. And if you cook it long enough and you burn it, then it won't be as bad. Your stomach will be a little bit upset and you'll go caca later, but that's okay. Cause we got meat, you know, we ate something. Put that with some spaghetti, and you're good to go. But I guess we're doing cabbage. Thanks for adding vegetables. Yeah, no problem, bud. That's not helping much. She's creeping me out, and I don't like her. The meat is starting to smell better. Good, you see? Hey, my mom told me you put a couple of, like, uh, I forgot what they're called. You put a couple leaves in there. I'm gonna find a name for it. Bop. You put that in there, and the meat, it takes the smell away. Hey, man, you do what you gotta do. You put a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. Remember... The, 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 the onion said it. Put some onion and, 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 and honey. Hey man, takes away the bacteria. So it's okay to eat, okay? Our ancestors did it a long time ago. We could do it here, okay? The meat was done cooking. Mmm, smells delicious. Everyone begins to salivate. I'm getting hungry. I want some puttanesca right now. This is good stuff. Hurry up and finish the cabbage rolls. Karen, relax. I can't wait anymore. Karen, I swear to God, you better back the f*** up. You can see Karen's knife in the corner of her dress. Karen, I got a knife in my hand. Back up. Give it to me. Now. Karen, back up. Karen gets ready to bury the knife in. Karen! You wake up in a cold sweat. We were sleeping? You wake up, sleepy hen. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey, man, I like redheads. I'm not going to lie. But, hey, yo! Who's that in the back? We have... You're having a nightmare. Baby girl, where's your knife? Because now I don't have a knife. And she has a knife, and I don't. Haven't seen someone thrash like that in their sleep. Yeah, because you probably were sucking the door, and it was... I'm convulsing. You must be pretty hungry after all that exploring. Pause! Want one last treat? Pause! Don't worry. I won't tell the others. Pause! I found the dead mouse in one of the cupboards. Stop! I don't want to hear this. I'm getting, I'm getting disgusted. I'm getting scared. I don't want to eat a mouse. And I want you to have it. She about to put the mouse in somewhere where the sun don't shine. How's that for a big breakfast? Can I just have your cakes for breakfast, boss? <laughs> I'm scared. You remember the old proverb, right? Yeah, he who goes with he he who goes to sleep with an itchy butt wakes up with a stinky finger. Yes, I heard that one. Appetite comes when eating. That's true. 
That's very true. When you eat, you know, I I not be hung. Me, I never had that problem with eating. But I, as you can see, but um, uh, you know, if there's something that I don't want to eat, uh, when I start eating, you start getting hungry again. I'm procrastinating. I'm scared. Don't worry. It gets easier after your first one. Pause. That's what they, that's what they say about the dough. It decaying a little bit. Oh, not about the dough, <laughs> but it's still fresh enough to devour. <laughs> I don't want to do this. You get. You're gonna love it. Oh. What? I'm not doing any of this, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not doing any of this. I'm scared. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not doing any of this. Oh, uh, potato. Oh, uh, potato. Potato. I'm scared. I don't want a sigh of relief. I'm still tense. I'm waiting for the credits to be done. I'm 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 still shook. I'm so scared that like my nose is dripping. I'm sweating. Like I'm genuinely sweating right now. I'm I'm like shook. That's me. That that's me. That's that's me right there. They're talking to me. Dear Dream Studios. I have goosebumps. My legs have goosebumps. Thanks for playing the full cooking companions out October 7th. Thanks for playing. Hey, listen, this demo, it, I know we're late to it. And the game did come out. If y'all like this video, if this video gets like a thousand views, hey man, I'll do it. I'll do the whole playthrough. We'll do a longer, less edited video. Okay? Like it, share it, and I'll do it. You saw, I'm, I'm shook. I don't want to do this. It's because I, I have to actually pay for it. And I don't got money. You know me. I'm, I'm starting YouTube. I don't got much money. Donate some money. Maybe I'll do it. Wish listed on Steam list. See you soon. And did you want to try some additional content or do you want to play again for a different ending? Let's do additional content. Let's do additional content. Jump scare mode. Ha! 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 No! 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 I don't want to do it. No! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No! I don't want to do it. No! All right. Let's do it. I'm, I, 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 it's mostly for fun, but maybe there's something interesting at the end. You'll have five seconds to make a decision. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. No, I want to leave. I want to leave. I want to leave. Don't answer incorrectly. No, no, no. Is that cabin? I'm, I'm going to stay back here. My screen is big, by the way. So I don't, okay. Do I Hi, five seconds to answer. Did you sleep well? No, I'm scared. Um, that's a miracle given the storm. I have the perfect idea for a rainy day. A quiz show. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, quiz show. Here's how it works. Get the answers correct or something bad might happen. Okay, as soon as I get a jump scare, I'm leaving. Okay? We'll have one question per room until we reach the basement. Good luck. Let the game begin. Okay, all four chomp heads jump on your back. Okay, we'll be whispering the questions into your ear. Don't do that. So don't mess up. Potatoes lurking around. Yeah, we don't know where potatoes at. But don't let that discourage you. First question. How many trumpets are there? Five. Ah, 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 21. Ah, this one. Oh, that wasn't 21. Oh, ah, I'm scared. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh. Okay, next room. Oh, my God, it's empty. <laughs> I want to do this. Next question. What was Karen's whittling? Ah, so, 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 no, so, nice. That's correct. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh, child's play. Let's check out the bedroom. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Okay. Karen isn't here either. Next question. What is the specific name for the house mouse? Oh, I don't have a name for him. Is it Boris? Ah! Oh. Potato. <laughs> what is a person? A miserable small pile of confidentiality. What? Karen isn't here either. Next question. What is the specific name for the house mouse? Rat tile over. 
Well, it's not that one either. <sighs> okay, this wasn't that bad. I don't know. The, the game is per this game is pretty fictional. It can't harm me in any way, shape, or form. <sighs> we'll give it one more shot because I'm not gonna do this one by one. Okay. Alright, <laughs> correct. Yeah, you made it so far already. You're in the prize. A trip to the basement. Yay! I'm scared. Wow. Okay, top of the stairs already, huh? <laughs> so, um, there's 3,000 years ago. Which country invented bread? Which country invented bread? Is it Britain? Was it Britain? Was it Egypt? Oh, oh my God! This is like, this is like that game, freaking the the other game, the uh, Drive Time Radio. Wow, on a roll today. Oh yeah, bread should have said that. My turn. Let's keep going. I don't want to be here. Almost there. Back to the basement room. <laughs> it's been ages. Ages. Oh, I got a good one. Okay, how old is Earth? Oh, God. Oh, God. 10,000 BC. No, it's more than that. Um, 100 million. 30, 30, 30, 38 billion. It's billions. Uh, 3.5 billion years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to do this. Are you still following me? Do I need to scream? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm, I'm gonna cry. Water's coming down my nose. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, move me up. I, I, I don't know what I clicked. Is it... Take, give or take 5 million years. Earth is about 5 billion. It's 4.5 billion years. How did you know that, Raspberry? Plenty of research, Cabbage. Oh, no. Are these, like, the ancient ones? Like, the fruit is, like, the ancient ones? We're almost there to the room. I'm only doing this for y'all, because y'all want to see some scary bull crap, okay? So here we go. If y'all stick through the end, you get to see freaking jump scares. You navigate the labyrinth of the basement. You're nearing the door. Almost there. You know, cabbage whispers in your ear, the others will never forgive you. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry. But as leader of the Chompets, I feel like it's my duty. Even in the pa even if the past was traumatizing, sometimes you need to look past that. Are they talking about my past? Do they know about what I did? I'm scared. It'd be so boring if we didn't talk to each other, right? Yes. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. Probably not. No, it does. That's why we brought you here again. <laughs> Let's talk with Potato Jog, that memory of yours. Is Potato dead? Who's Potato? Yep, she's upset again. Who's she? Potato's not a girl. You can't blame her, though. She would She would have the great addition to the Chompettes. What happened? Who's Potato? One last question, Cabbage. Yes? Okay. She's approaching, so you only have a few seconds to answer this one. Okay. Wouldn't want her to fly out. Last question. Where are we right now? In the basement. In the basement. In hell. We're in hell. Ha 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 Nope. Sorry. This isn't your hell. What was that? I didn't see. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to see it. Last question. Where are we right now? We're in Mount Elibris. I don't know. I don't know. Where are we right now? We're in Mount Elibris. I don't know. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> okay, last question. Where are we? Is it number four? Is it number two? That's correct. Oh my god. That's correct. It's time to talk to Potato. We'll be right outside while you work things out. No, stay with me, please. Don't. No, don't. Potato? Hi, Potato. We've been looking for you, actually. Can you come with me? Made it to the end, huh? Well done. Oh, but playing games with the Chompettes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, wouldn't wouldn't expect you to be so uh, accommodating. Yeah, that's me, accommodating. Yeah, you know me. How does it feel to come back here? Terrifying. And you know, it's been a while. How long has it been? Like 10 minutes? This video's running long. You better hurry up, Potato. You remember what happened here? No, death? Of course you don't. No, I don't. Happened here a long time ago. Uh, I cornered the four. I cornered the four in this base room. What? And all of us ended up dead. Oh, no. Cabbage, onion, raspberry bread. Are they all? I wonder. They're still afraid to enter this room. That's why they left me here by myself with you, Potato. Too terrified to come and grasp with it. Why do you think Cabbage wanted to play that game with her earlier? What do you mean? What do you mean with who? She wanted you to gather so she could trick you. Are we doing a summoning circle? What are we doing? We need them to stay in the cabin as a check and balance. Your hunger is insatiable. You're ravenous. And now, 
And now you're talking to a potato. <laughs> We're talking to a potato. <laughs> oh, potato, since you've made it this far, I feel like you've earned something. Still leftovers in here. Hey, I did a video called Leftovers. Link in the description down below. Dig in. Oh, it is food, huh? Is that the cabbage that I made? They do exist. I bet you have a questions by the end of this experience. I do. You want to solve the mystery of the cabin and find out what happened, everyone? No, I don't. I want to leave. Nope, I want to leave. All right, if you spend your money on a big meal, add it to your wish list instead. But you're acting so smug. I have a surprise for you. Sweet dreams. You're not going to bed, right? No, I'm not. You're shaking your head. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you know? Uh... Getting past the note here. I think it's for you. Uh, it's called Thanks for Playing. Wishlisted on Steamless and see you soon. Um, do you want to try it for another ending or end things with a comedy competition? Let's do the comedy competition. Got it. How long is this game going to last? I want to go home already. Welcome to the third and annual comp chompet comedy competition. This video is running too long. I'm sorry. We're going to cut it here. This is the demo. Y'all could go and do the demo. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm scared. I'm sweating. I'm sweating more than a freaking sinner in church right now, okay? I'm done, okay? If you have any comments, complaints, aches, pains, moans, groans, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to see this, okay? Um... <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go eat a burger. Leave, like, leave anything you want to say in the comments down below. 1,000 views. I'll do the full video. I love you guys. Stay edgy.